Hello from Hackensack. Uh, today I'm making a frittata. Uh, one of the easiest uh, egg dishes to make. Uh, this is a no flip frittata. I'm using a leftover uh, farfalle, this organic farfalle pasta with uh, pesto sauce from uh, Costco Wholesale. Uh, it was about a pound of pasta, about half of a jar of 22 ounce jar of pesto. Uh, I added spinach and uh, whole pignoli nuts. And uh, now I've combined that with um, a 16 ounce uh, container of egg whites. Uh, there's the pasta, pesto and spinach. We added some grated cheese. You need about four cups of liquid and eggs, eggs and uh, pasta and cheese and other, whatever other ingredients you're using uh, for a 10 inch pan, which I heated up some oil here. So the uh, frittata is going to set on the stove top and then I'm going to move it under the broiler. This is a no flip frittata uh, under the broiler for 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, after it sets in the pan, I'm going to put some sliced tomatoes on top. Okay, so the uh, sliced tomatoes uh, went on top and uh, this has been uh, setting on the uh, stove top for about 10 minutes. And I'm going to be carrying it over and putting it uh, under the broiler. I have a low and high setting on my broiler, so it's going to go on high. And as it cooks, it'll puff up. I'll probably be adding uh, some more grated uh, Parmesan cheese. And then uh, the finishing touch when I take it out is a little crushed red pepper. So here it is in the broiler. Uh, I'm going to set the timer for, uh, start with 20 minutes. So this is about uh, 12 minutes uh, out of the 20 on the, uh, the broiler. As I said, I have a high and low setting. This is the high setting. You can see the uh, frittata is uh, puffed up and browning nicely. I'm gonna be adding some more. Uh, let me try this. You know, this looks like uh, it's cooked, so uh, it's not liquidy in the middle. So I'm gonna add some uh, more grated parmesan and then put it back in the oven for a few minutes until that's melted. Okay well that took only a few more minutes uh, to melt the parmesan. Now the red pepper, finishing touch. If you put this on uh, before in you know before you put the frittata in the oven it's just gonna burn and turn black so there's no need to do that. So here's a delicious uh, Frittata, you can uh, have a wedge of it at almost any meal. Uh, it makes uh, breakfast uh, a snap, uh, a slice of this and a wedge of this and some uh, mashed uh, kabuka squash, which I have in the refrigerator, and that's breakfast. It gets you out the door in minutes. Enjoy.